Baruch Hashem, back in, um, in the country of Israel. They let me in for good behavior or not good behavior, whatever considered. I remember when I was learning by uh, Heichel Atera, or Sviku Shlevsky, if you wanted to get the Rosh Shiva really, really upset, or if you were successful in getting really, really upset, you would scream out, Shidchi! Whoever remembers that. And Shidchi means superficiality, really superficial. And that was a very powerful experience, uh, especially if you were sitting right in front of him and you could hear, you know, high, high, um, high audib- audibility. Thank you. So, Lamaisa, we're starting now three days. Three days. The 8th, ninth, and 10th of Tevis. These days are officially Tainasim. Everyone eating breakfast here. The, um, it's official, oh, sorry, it's, uh, it's officially, unofficially a Tainas. It was once a Tainas. But Chazal understood, or the Chomim understood, that to make three fasts in a row, that's tough. And someone told me a story once, from Michal Shurkin. He told me a story once, it was a Rav who came to town, he said, if you hire me as a Rav, I'll give you two coolers. I'll give you three coolers. Three coolers. Sounds good, three coolers. What's the first cooler? He said, the first cooler is, is that some people don't let you fast two days in a row for Yom Kippur. You know, because it's fake at the Yom and the He said, I'm Mekel. I let people fast two days in a row. Okay, so they said, that's not for us. We're not looking for such coolers. But the Chavim didn't want to make three fasts in a row. So they got rid of uh, the, the first two, the 8th and ninth of Tavis, and they put them all into the 10th of Tavis, right? But Lamaisa, the 8th of Tavis is, is a fast day, unofficially, officially, unofficially, that was put into the 10th of Tavis, and because the Torah is translated into Greek. Now, those writers among us would think, like, what's the big deal? The Torah is translated into Greek. That sounds like a good thing. English translation, art scroll. I spoke to, um, actually, of David Feinstein once, he was on the board of art school. I spoke to him about, about the whole idea of translations. I won't tell you what he said, not a film anyway. But the point is, is that whenever you put something into a translation, you're always making it more shetri, because the word shetri means shetach. Shetach means you're only seeing the surface, right? This is the shetach. Underneath it, there's a lot more going on. But you, when you, something is shetri when, you only, when you're only skirting the surface, right? And Chazal tell us that when the Torah is translated into Greek, three days of Choshech fell onto the world. And we know from last uh, time I was here, it seems like a week ago it was, I believe, no, two weeks ago, the, um, and we spoke that Choshech, says the Mesil Sharm, has two dangers. One is that you don't see what's going on, but two is you see things wrong. Yeah? And if you're learning Torah in Greek, if you learn Septuagint, as it was called, right? So you're going to miss that clarity, as the Messiah Shalom describes, that the Torah gives us. You're not going to have that in Greek, right? The, every single Pasuk in the Torah is infinite depth. The Gra said he had 150 Pshatim in every Pasuk in Shir Hashem. There was just no one to write down fast enough. I'm learning now uh, Shir Hashem with the Perish Gra, and yet there's two Pshatim, that we, the two, two Svarim, two Perushim that we have. But 150, no one could possibly write it down fast enough. So, Lamaisa, as we commemorate the 8th of Tavis, this day that the Torah was translated into Greek, and the three days of darkness sent on the world, we can uh, keep in mind that this is the idea, even though we don't fast. It seems to me that even though we got rid of the fast day, but the idea behind it should still be in our heads, right? Because the fasting is too much, but the idea behind the 8th of Tavis we should keep in our head. And one thing to ponder, Right, which I'll speak about soon, is, is there some connection between this and Hanukkah? Bizrat Hashem, Amen, Kane Rutzam.